Okay, guys, in today's video, we're going to cover filters. Okay, so filters are can be used in two ways in Soccer Scanner. First of all, they can be used directly on the scanner, so you can right click and apply a filter. Um, and that way you can cut down the number of games that you see on the, on the scanner at any one time. The second thing you can do is you can set them up in conjunction with Telegram and you can get an alert every time that your criteria is met. OK, so there is a lot of options in here. There is lots and lots of things you can use to set those up. Um, and depending on what you want to actually achieve, um, you can use them accordingly. So. Let's say we just, we're all we're interested in is something on the scanner that will show us all the games that are in the first half with no goals. Okay, very easily, we'll leave that as time in minutes. We'll say is less than or equal to 45. And then we click add rule. Okay, click add rule, another rule appears. And in here, I'm just going to say total goals equals zero. So I've just got a very, very simple filter. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it test. Um, so my filter is now time is less than or equal to 45, total goals equal zero. Now we can see at the top here, and is in a greeny color. Okay. And that's because we've got and applied. So in order for this to trigger, or in order this to show you games on the scanner when you right click, right, both of these conditions must be true. Okay. So the time must be less than 45, and it must have less than zero, equal to zero goals. OK, so and means every condition all the way down needs to be true. If I switch that to or, I'm sure you know, <laughs> you can imagine what's going to happen. Either the time needs to be less than 45 or total goals equal zero. OK, so in this case, the time could be 33 minutes and total goals could be three and it would still appear in our filter or it would still send us an alert. So please be very careful when you're using and and or because obviously it's going to make a big, big difference. The other thing you've got is this button that says enabled for alerts. Now, if I leave that ticked and save this, right, I'm going to get an awful lot of alerts because there will be an any any game that kicks off, which is zero minutes and has no goals. I'm going to get an alert for because it's going to meet these two criteria. OK, so if you only want to use it on the scanner and you don't want to get alerts for it, untick that box before you save it. OK, if you do want to get Telegram alerts, please don't leave it as simple as this because you will get thousands of alerts. And we work on the free version of Telegram, which has rate limits. So you could well break Telegram for, for Soccer Scanner. So please be very careful about whether you tick on alerts or not on alerts. OK, once you've created your filter, click Save. You'll get a confirmation. And that's now active. OK, so if we went into, if we go back to the scanner, we right click. OK, we do My Filters and Test. And there we go. As you can see, all of those games are nil nil. And you can see all of them are less than 45 minutes. OK, it treats half time as 45 minutes. So because we said less than or equal, that's why they're showing them on there. So that's how to create a really simple filter. How about creating something a bit more complicated? OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a reset. OK, now we have two options here. Add rule and add group. OK, so when we add a group, we can have a set of a specific set of settings that could be they, they could have or applied, but the rest of the rule could have and applied. So let's do add group. OK, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this first rule. OK, and then in here, I'm going to say uh, let's have a look what we can do with. Uh, I'm going to do home star odds is less than or equal to 1.65. OK, now you can see I've got add rule and add group within this group. So I'm now going to say add rule and I'm going to say away. Whoop, uh, away score equals one. OK, so what I've, here, I've said here is in its and again, home star odds is less than or equal to 1.65 and away score equals to one. OK, and I'm going to add another rule that says home score. And you can see how I can type ahead here to make things easier once you get used to it. Home score equals zero. So what we've got here is a fit home favorite, right? 1.65 at the start odds, and they're getting beat 1-0. And let's add another row. Oh, no, let's remove that for now. OK, now they've all got and against them. So remember, that means all three of these need to be true. OK, I'm now going to add a second group. And in that second group, I'm going to say now say away start odds is less than or equal to 1.65. I'm going to add another rule within this group. And I'm going to now say away score equals zero. 
and I'm going to say ohm score equals 1. So we've got two sets of rules here. One, we're looking for a home favourite that's getting beat because the away team is one up. And two, we have an away favourite where the home team is one up. OK, now, if I leave that as and, right, this this will never, ever uh, trigger. OK, because I've got two conflicting things here. What I'm saying is I want the away score to be zero, but I also want the away score to be one at the same time. OK, so it's physically impossible to do that. And the same with home score. OK, so in this situation, this is where all becomes really useful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this group on and because I want all three of these to be true. I'm going to leave this group on and because I want all three of these rules to be true. But I'm going to change the master one at the top to be an or. OK, now what's going to happen is I, if either this group equals true, so all three of these because they're an and, or all three of these equals true, it will trigger the alert. OK, so you can see very easily how you can start to build really, really complex filters that can you know, be really, really powerful. Now, I can enable this for an alert. And what will happen is, again, let's give it a name. Test. OK, when I enable an alert, I'm now set up. And it's going to give me a telecom, a telegram <laughs> alert. So you can see the idea of how you can build. And we could add another group here if we wanted to. But in this situation, this is probably enough. We could probably add another rule, okay, to say, well, actually, you know, we want it to be relatively early on in the game. So what I'm going to say is time is less than or equal 25. Okay. Right. Now, remember, I've got all. Okay. So if, if that's now true, it will trigger, right? Because it's all. Is that true? Is that true? Or is that true? OK, and that's a, a pitfall that many of you do when you're setting your alerts up. OK, that time there is under that or. OK, so that's not going to help us. So what we probably need to do is we need to say under here, add rule time less than or equal to 20. And then our second group time less than or equal to 20. OK, so now these are under the and. So we're looking here. Home start adds 1.64. The away team is 1-0 up and the time is less than 20. Or away team is 1.65 or less. The away team are getting beat 1-0. Time is less than 20. OK, so just be very careful when you're building these with your ands and yours because it can make all the difference as to whether it triggers or whether it doesn't trigger. Again, once you're finished, click Save. And that now becomes instantly operational. So if there is a game at the moment that matches this criteria, I'll get an alert for it. OK, if I go to the scanner. Right click my filters test. There actually isn't any games that match those criteria at the moment, but you get the idea. OK, so, you know, filters can be very, very powerful. You can see this one here. It's very similar to the one we just created. Um, I've added a couple of other things in there just to make it nice and neat. OK, and I've also put my leagues only on there as well. OK, so there is really, really easy to build a really powerful filter. OK, and you can apply those filters, as I say, you can either apply them to the scanner or you can use them with the button ticked to enable telegram alerts. OK, if you decide you don't want one, you can just do a reset and it will go back to normal. If you're struggling to understand whether it works or not, let's just say by def but by accident you've clicked that and you can click check logic and what it will do is it'll give you a text version of this. What typically I do is I copy all of that, right? And I'll paste that into Notepad and I can read through it. So what I can say is I can see now it's it's in text, home starts less than 1.65, okay. And away score equals one, okay, and home score equals zero, and time equals zero. And that's suddenly, hang on a minute, and, OK, I can see where the problem is. So sometimes it's a bit difficult on this because you've got lots of lines on it to see where it is. So this check logic can be really, really helpful. OK, if I then save it again, check logic, you'll see that's now on. OK, so that was a very quick introduction in how to use filters. Um, as I say, they can be very, very powerful. You can build some really, really strong filters in this. One piece of advice. Have a think about what you want to do before you start doing it. Don't just come in here and start clicking buttons because, as I say, there is an absolute massive amount of filters you can use. Um, 
have a think about how you want to do it before you do it. Otherwise, you'll be sat here all night trying to adding things and removing things and, and changing things. OK, I hope you found that useful. This is the second of a, a number of videos I'm going to do in updated videos. Um, as always, any questions, just send me an email at contact us at soccerscanner.net or put a comment onto the video on YouTube. OK, thank you very much for watching. Bye.